Well guys, got a little video for you today. I think you guys are doing pretty good so far. Getting lots of videos uploaded. <laughs> um, this power supply was given to me dear, I'd say, I don't know, four or five months ago. By my buddy Gary. Donated a bunch of uh, old junk electronics and whatever. And uh, amongst the box of, uh, of rubble, <laughs> There was this power supply built by Samlix. It's a 4 to 6 amp uh, short circuit protection 13.8 volt DC power supply. Um, model RPS 1204. I've been using this power supply with my uh, Kenwood R5000 receiver and uh, without any issues. Actually, I had the radio on no more than, I don't know, a day ago. <laughs> and I just had her on this power supply. No issues whatsoever. It turns off the power supply. Comes back the next day, which was yesterday. And uh, turns on the power supply. Goes to turn on the Kenwood R5000. And nothing. <laughs> Dead completely. And I said, oh my god. Don't tell me the radio's toast. Which, luckily, I think she should be fine. But the power supply here uh, has some sort of an issue. Um, I checked the voltage output on the connectors here. And there's literally no more than 0 .0 0 0.1 volts there maximum so yeah it, it, it has an issue I'll just demonstrate here what's uh, what's going on with it and uh, we'll pull the thing apart and see if we can't fix this part yeah okay. that's my voltmeter obviously so now we're going to turn on the power supply and uh, we're going to see what output it gives me so right now the power supply is on now I'm going to put the probe on it. As you can see, nothing. So we're going to also try the cigarette plug and see if there's anything there. And as you can see, nothing. Power supply is coming on as I can hear the transformer humming inside. So a transformer, you know, should be good. But uh, let's pull this thing apart. Let's see what we can find. So according to the data sheet, BZW03C15 is a 13.8 volt to 15 volt Zener diode. Is what it is. So, do I have one? So I have a Zener. It's not the exact one. It's a 1N4742. And this one's actually a 12 volt Zener diode. I wonder if he's up to the task. What do you think? Let's pull this puppy apart. See if we can't figure out why this power supply has failed. So we have a circuit board over here, transformer there. We have a two N three oh five five back there. Let's see. 
Let's see what we can see here. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to check the voltages on the transformer to make sure that the main circuit board here is actually getting power. That's a, that's a first. So this is the center tap. So we'll go from center to one side of the transformer. We get 17.4. And center tap to the other side. 17.6 and then we go across to outside and we get 35.3 volts so the transformer is working so the next thing I'm going to um, test is DC voltage make sure we have DC voltage that the voltage is actually being rectified across the uh, across the diode that's next. So we're going to check that next. Twenty one volts across that diode. Twenty one volts there. So we know the uh, bridge rectifier. Or in this case, a halfway bridge rectifier is working. So the next thing we got to do is check the two in three hundred five five and see if it's being supplied any voltage at all across any of its uh, pins. So we got nothing there. Okay, so we got 21 volts there. We got nothing here. We got nothing here. You know, I can smell a sleet scent. Something is getting pretty hot on the board here. That would be a transistor. That being, if I can see it, it's pretty hot. Transistor is very hard to see here in front of it. It looks like an H1061. So, I'm not sure if they're using that transistor as a uh, driver to drive the 3055 or not. Who knows? But. What I'm going to find out, I'm going to take a look at the surface manual, or a schematic if we can, for the uh, RPS 1204. Okay, so I checked voltages on the 3055, and uh, they seem low on the uh, on the emitter side, swapped out the 3055, that's the original one that was in there, swapped out with another 3055, and we still had the same problem. So, uh, the next likely problem or issue or suspect would be this here transistor. That's the next. That's the next sub, uh, suspect. So we're going to rip him out and we're going to see what the power supply does. Okay, well, I almost gave up on the power supply. I was just literally about to literally scrap the thing. I already got her, like, you know, 
literally about to scrap it. And uh, I said, you know, I'll try one more thing. And I didn't realize this little diode was sitting there across the output of the power supply. Well, when I test that there diode on continuity, I get a short circuit. So it looks like the uh, protection diode, I guess, decided to cook itself for no particular reason other than to cook itself. Because I know I didn't short anything on the output. So, let's just pull this diode and uh, see what happens. See the short disappears. Hot. Hot stuff. Let's uh, let's see. Did continuity there. First leads. And there was me issue the whole entire time. Was this diode? Gotta love it. Now I need to, ooh, um, yeah, reassemble my power supply again. Joy, oh bliss. Okay, after a few hours of doing a smoke test on the power supply, uh, she seems to be solid there now at 13.8 volts. And like I say, the issue, which I thought was the, three, the uh, 2N3055 back here, or this transistor here, regulator, but it wasn't those at all. It, uh, it was actually this Zener diode. That there Zener is actually shorted out. BZW03C15. So, uh, replaced the Zener. And then I noticed the voltage was fluctuating. It wasn't, you know, solid on 13.8 uh, volts. It was, like, floating. So I put a bulb on it. This light bulb's been sitting on it now for the past two or three hours. And I noticed that as it was fluctuating, if I moved the board, like, just flex the board like this, that the bulb would dim out, come bright, get brighter, dim sort of thing. So it's like a loose connection. And of course the voltage was fluctuating between 13.8 to 15.1, 15.2 volts. And uh, so I reflowed the whole circuit board. Put all new solder on the whole board, reflowed the whole board. Done the flex test again. Same thing. It would, uh, the voltage would, uh, fluctuate when, as, as I move the board. So, okay, well then I figured it might have been a, a break or something in the board. So I went over the circuit board with my loop and there's no breaks in the traces at all on the board. So it's down to a component. And what I ended up finding was actually this variable resistor right here. This 200 ohm variable. It was actually faulty. It was a bad, uh, bad connection inside. I guess carbon built up or whatever. But uh, it's, it's, it's enough of a bad connection there that it would make the voltage fluctuate. So I changed out that 200 ohm variable. 
and in its place I put a, a newer type 200 ohm right there and now I can flex this board to my heart's content and uh, no fluctuation at all solid No fluctuation in voltage at all. So the uh, the Samlex RPS twelve oh four appears to be uh, working fine or now again. And I still don't understand how that Zener went bad. I was using the R5000 was what uh, came with R5000 was what I had on this power supply and it was used on this radio on this power supply since I had the radio and uh, I'd say this power supply has been used with that radio for about I don't know two months three months without any problems the other night I turned it off before I went to bed turned it on the next morning nothing not a geek and uh, the Zener failed. Don't know how, but it did. Anyways, a couple little things to look at. You have one of these. I also changed out the AC cord. There was a white one on it before. Really heavy duty one. It was just, it was just too much for this power supply. So I redone the, uh, the AC line cord. And Everything over there, we done all that. Uh, for right here, this was your output, just to your terminals and cigarette plug. So, and it's got a uh, provision for a fuse. So what I got done here, uh, these two here goes to the terminal directly, and the cigarette plug, I've got a fuse put in line right here across here. I got a 5 amp fuse put there which is not a bad thing decided to put that in there anyways hope you enjoyed the video on this uh, Samlex RPS 1204 4 to 6 amp power supply Anyways, we'll chat later. 73.